Hello again, thanks for watching. This is another quick tips video from Go Engineer. My name is Joseph Catrona. In order to make a new drawing, I can choose the new icon, start with any drawing template, and then begin to drop model views on by browsing to a model of my choosing. The very first time you're starting with a drawing, you'll want to start with the templates that are built into SolidWorks and then customize, of course, the company name and maybe a few other things. I can access this text and title block by right-clicking in the background and choosing Edit Sheet Format. The first thing I want to do is update my company name, change the font. Another important note type links to a property. By property, I mean file, drop-down, properties. Lots of built-in properties, of course, but we can add user-defined properties like description or revision. The easiest way to access this information is to create a note, drop it on, and use this second button for link to property. That brings up a GUI that will allow me to just choose from a drop-down. Tie this note to its description. Another way to accomplish the same thing is to simply type in the syntax $PRP colon, quotes, and then the property name, such as revision. I have a space preceding that quote, so when I pull it out, we can see that that note now shows the value of the revision. I can right click on any one of these linked properties and choose edit text in window to see what's actually going on there. From here, I can exit the edit sheet format mode and save these changes. In order to save the sheet format itself, I'll choose File, Save Sheet Format. I've got a company templates directory I want to drop that into and choose Save. Notice when I hit the new button, that new template still isn't available. And furthermore, each of these are a document template. Notice the file extension, D-O-T, drawing D-O-T. This sheet format that we just saved, file, save, sheet, format, that's actually a DRT. So the difference is that this DRT is just the title block and sheet size, landscape, etc. But what I need to offer my users as an everyday starting point is a DRWDOT. The DRWDOT includes some additional information. That additional information is the document properties. So we've set up the sheet title block the way we like. In addition, I'll go under annotations, maybe change the fonts globally for this document, say okay to keep that change, and then I don't like these trailing zeros. So now that I have the sheet format and the document settings the way that we prefer, I can choose save as, this time not the sheet format, but a true save as, and switch the file type to a DOT. I'll locate that under my company templates. Now I can start, but wait, my new location hasn't been added. In order to do that, I'll modify the system settings to just point to that new location. File locations, add, and there's my company templates. Say OK again to accept, choose new again, and there's the company templates. So back to square one, I'm inserted into model view by SolidWorks, but this time it's my own company template. We want to make a drawing of the models we've created in the past tutorial, so I'll browse to those. And I can use my PDM preview to make sure I'm getting the right file. With the file selected, I can immediately click to start placing a view, or I can make some decisions ahead of time, like maybe create the side views, the top views, all at once. I personally prefer to use the projected views, auto start projected view. Click, drag, click again, drag, click again, and maybe even an ISO view. Before dropping that one on, I'll hold down control so that I can break the alignment with that parent view. The green check on my right click is a quick and easy way to accept. Couple of quick modifications to these views, slide those over. From here, I can select each view independently and maybe change it to a shaded view. I can begin to drop dimensions on with a smart dimension tool, or ideally, I can insert all the model items
from the entire model using the ones marked for drawing and eliminating any duplicates. And that makes quick work of that process. I'll usually need to drag these around a bit to achieve my desired look. But remember you also have tools on this drawing palette like evenly space. Once I have all that set up the way I like it, I'll save it, maybe update the description via the data card, and from there I think I can begin to export and print. Well that was fun enough, let's do it again. Company template, okay. This time, choosing an assembly. I like that side view. I'd like those to be a little bit bigger, a little more colorful, and a section view couldn't be easier. Select the type of cutting line, drop it on a view, and click to place the section view. We'll often find ourselves using the insert drop down for things like tables, bill of materials, select a parent view, click accept to use the default template, and then adjust the views as necessary. Don't forget to save often. And that concludes our getting started tutorial series.